What's up? What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new series on my channel where we're just gonna be covering it all from relationships to sports to clothing to sneakers. We got big boy Johnny right here. What up, what up? We got Tan Tang right here. What's up guys? And we're gonna be answering the question, is Nike and Jordan brand falling off and what are the hot brands coming up? All right, Tan, I'm gonna let you start this one off. Is Nike and Jordan brand falling off? Man, I can't even believe you're asking me this. It's almost an insult. They I are. don't think Would they're falling off. Of I course mean, they're falling off, man. Give me give me a reason why Ladies you think and gentlemen, they're falling off. We have the Chrome Mates, the Aqua 8s, and the Maroon 6s, supposed to be one of their hottest retros this year, are still sitting retros. on the shelves after weeks. I like that. Maybe that's the whole point. They're trying to give us what we want. All the kids complaining to their parents how shoes keep selling out nowadays. Okay, that's they have a to good wait point. in line. You know, they're always striking out online. It's almost like now you could kind of walk into a shoe store and get your shoes without on, any hassle. On the it's contrary, about the hassle, man. the convenience. That's hassle and convenience cost money. Okay. And obviously it's shown, right? Because I never seen a pair of sixes cost more than $175. Like, oh, that's a good point. $220 is what they're charging right now for the room. And they call them uh, remastered? Remastered. They, they when you the got Nike Air in the back. When... The Nike Air is huge, okay? This is what we wanted, right? Yeah. That's, that's what we wanted. You're paying $80 at least, ladies and gentlemen, for okay. an extra. Nike 220 on the 220 is crazy for a pair of retros. That's like resale prices for retail. I feel like when you see a Nike product that you think is gonna sell out, but it's just still sitting in the stores, when you just see it like yeah. visually on the shelf still, you, it makes the brand less special. That's what I mean by falling off a little bit. Nikes raise their prices. When you raise your prices, I'm pretty sure your market's doing well. And I don't doubt that at all. I think Nike's gonna be around for a long time. I think I always compare certain companies to McDonald's because I feel like during an apocalypse, McDonald's will still be around. That's just what they're known for. And I feel like Nike's- <laughs> They're known of, for being in apocalypse? They're, they're gonna be around, man. <laughs> you, you know, I don't know. You go, When there's an apocalypse, there will be Twinkies and there will be McDonald's still up <laughs> right. around everywhere. And Adidas, I would definitely say, is giving Nike a huge run for their money. Last Last year, acquiring Kanye, I think, was probably the biggest thing oh, that was, huge. That, was that Show, made man. Nike just skyrocket again. And that was huge because I think along with Kanye, they they kind of took a little bit under Nike's feet. It's Everybody's talking about just the boots. Yeah. When was the when was the last time a rapper had a signature like like really fire signature shoe. I'm not talking about S. Doc Carters. Carters. I'm not talking about Ooh. S. Doc Carter, see? I already knew. I hey, wait, yo, you forgot Carter. about the uh, the T. Raws though. T <laughs> the Tigers, the T. Raws. Yo, man, shout out to the T. Raws, man. Tan used to love Tiger. <laughs> All right, Tan man. used to look like Tiger. <laughs> he was on Tiger. But he was hot though. <laughs> but I feel like, man, Adidas is just really making a lot of noise. One minute, I didn't have any pairs of Adidas. And then I look, and I got four pairs now. Nah. Four pairs of Ultra Boost. Yeah. Besides Kanye having a huge influence on Adidas uprising, I feel like the athletes that they've been signing, I mean, that James Harden signed. Oh, that was a huge was deal. huge. I mean, I thought James Harden was going to get his own signature. For real, shout out to James Harden, man. Shout out. Don't get cursed by the bass guy. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, <laughs> Lil B, man. Lil, Didn't Lil they Swaggy? just sign Swaggy, oh, yeah. Swaggy P? Swaggy yeah. P. And he's, every, you know. Come on. Everywhere. I almost feel like that's a marketing scheme. Huge marketing scheme, dude. Because he's everywhere on, yeah. on Soul Collector. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere, dude. Uh, you know, sneaker They're really news. trying to get that sneakerhead market, I feel yeah, like. I All right, guys, so we talked about Adidas making some noise, trying to take Nike's spot. What are some other brands out there that are getting some recognition? You know, I think Under Armour would actually mm. be one of those brands that are huge to, right now, too. You know, they got Steph Curry yep. doing great with the, with, you know, with the Ghost State Warriors. They also got Cam Newton. You know, feel Cam like. Cam Newton ain't gonna make you go buy some sneakers. I right? know, but I feel <laughs> like. They're 14, the Panthers are 14 and no, you know, he's the face of Style. Under Armour, you know, the compliment, football, Under Steph Armour. Curry. You're not gonna buy a pair of shoes that aren't the <laughs> Steph Curry's, all right? Name True. one shoe that's not a Steph Curry shoe. Right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> like, saying, unless they're the man. Curry's, you're still gonna get clowned on for wearing some Under Armour's. You know? What do you guys think about LeBron uh, recently saying Under Armour who? Under Armour recently released a who? commercial. Who? So, Under Armour. Who was that? <laughs> There's a commercial saying. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like that. Man, come on, man. I, I feel like that. If I was Under Armour, I'd be a little mad. I'd be a little I mean, upset, man. Signed. All right, guys. So we got to wrap this one up. Is Nike falling off? Uh, and what are the hot brands coming up? Johnny? I would not say Nike's falling off. I would definitely say that a lot more companies are starting to play catch up and starting to invest a lot more um, money and finances into um, marketing and making them brands hot again like Adidas. So Nike, I don't think they're going to be falling off, but they're going to have more competition. Nike's never going to fall off. I just feel like... You know, they set the bar high, everyone else 
It's got to catch up. Is Nike falling off? I wouldn't say exactly. Maybe a tiny bit. They're doing some things, a little, you know, miscalculations with, you know, their inventory and whatnot. <laughs> but they're not exactly falling off. But I would say, like you said, the other brands are making a little bit of noise. Yeah. And yeah. you can notice. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out that episode of Hype Talk. Let us know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. If you guys think Nike is falling off and what other brands you guys think are coming up. Also, let us know down in the comments below if you guys have any other questions you guys want answered, any other topics you guys want us to talk about. And that's pretty much it. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. All right, guys, thanks for checking out that video. Make sure you watch this video. Also, watch this video. Leave down in the comments below what other topics you want us to talk about. Shout out to Johnny, the big boy Johnny. Hey. Shout out to Tan Tang, aka Never Pays Retail. What up? Follow us on our Instagrams. The links are right down below. Make sure you follow me on my other channel, Richie Lee TV. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.